Phantom of Venice is an interesting game to do a shipping video for, because there are so many characters that Nancy doesn't have much contact with. They are Antonio Fongo, Enrico Taza, Gina, Nico Petit, and Samantha Quick. That's five criminals in a game with only three suspects. I guess I'll start with Margarita Foberg, who is so transparently shallow, it's kind of amazing. She's very obvious about her greed. She refuses to spend money and eagerly snatches up any opportunity to save money. She's also big on social status, desperately wishing to be a member of high society. And lastly, she's obsessed with tanning. Her dream boyfriend is a rich, tanned member of high society. A hot Italian prince would be right up her alley. More likely, though, I see Margarita attaching herself to a semi-desperate man who has fallen from grace, but is still higher than her on the social scale. At the end of the game, she uses the phantom situation to boost her own popularity. Maybe she got lucky and found a nice man at one of her I'm so amazing, talk to me parties. I doubt it, though. I'll go with Antonio Fongo, partly because there's a scene where she visits his office. He might be a criminal, but he might have enough money to be on Margarita's radar. Dating him would get her a lot of attention, which she would obviously enjoy. Helena Berg. For most of the game, she's a nice journalist who likes to travel, maybe a journalist like Brenda Carlton, or a traveler like Sunny June. Helena's notes indicate she's met Sunny before, so it could work. She's German, so maybe somebody from Nancy Drew, The Captive Curse? I would read a story where Helena meets Carl. I don't think any of the men in this game are a good fit. We know she's annoyed with Nico for dressing up like a phantom. I feel like she'd be just as annoyed at Enrico for wearing a mask and playing cards all day, instead of working. She might tolerate Fongo, although I don't know, you could argue she doesn't trust him, which is why she wants to keep a close eye on him. Honestly, she would probably be a better match with Leo Macchiano, the criminal who inspired her to start the phantom thefts. This might sound weird, but I'm going with Andy Jason from Danger on Deception Island. He's the other culprit in the series who runs a criminal organization with over three employees. At least they have that in common. Colin Baxter with Nancy Drew. Obviously, it's pretty clear he wants to date her. He buys her a gift, he's jealous of her boyfriend, and he writes her a goodbye note with serious I wish we could have gone out vibes. Some people think it's cute he has an awkward crush on Nancy. Other people think it's creepy and he needs to respect her boundaries. I could see a character like Colin as the love interest in a romantic movie. He's a brooding fellow who feels conflicted because he's trying to hide his criminal past while operating under a fake name. And whenever he tries to be nice to the girl he likes, he finds a way to screw it up. With a few tweaks, Colin probably could have been one of the fan-favorite hunks of the Nancy Drew series, but he's just so darn boring with his obsession over Tesserae. The guy loves tiles and subjects us to Tesserae torture right at the start. I don't know what his deal is. And then, when his microscope breaks, he snaps at Nancy. How could you be so callous? That was a scary scene. He clearly cares way more about the microscope than Nancy, despite his obvious crush on her. So if there was some way he could make a tesserae mosaic of Nancy, that would probably be perfect for Colin. Enrico Taza loves playing Scopa, and he'd probably date anyone who will play Scopa with him. I think Minette from Danger by Design would be perfect for him, because they're both culprits who wear masks. There's one point where Minette is obsessed with playing an online game. She refuses to do anything else until she gets the high score. If she reacts to Scopa in the same way, then it's inevitable that Minette and Enrico will get married. They will play Scopa every single day. If they have a child, they will name it Scopa and dress it in hideous clothes. Antonio Fongo loves pigeons, that's for sure. Nancy spends a lot of time spying on him and breaking into his office, but she doesn't get to know much about him. It seems like his romantic options are limited to Helena and Margarita, maybe the Gina person he plays chess with. I already explained why Margarita would probably be okay with dating Fongo. I think it's more natural for him to be with Helena. She seems closer to his age, and if his office is any indication, 
He's ready to flee the country at a moment's notice. Maybe he can flee the country with Helena while they're trying to avoid the police. It's not clear if he knows that Helena is Il Dottore, but I guess it doesn't matter. If your choice of girlfriend is Helena or Margarita, then 9 times out of 10, Helena's gonna win because Margarita is just so terrible. So, Fongo with Helena. Nico Petit, aka the Phantom of Venice, He's on screen for, I don't know, 10 seconds. He steals Nancy's necklace and disappears. We know he likes being flashy, and he's also kind of dumb. He lost his important phantom information in the Chinese puzzle box. I don't know about you, but kind of dumb and loves attention. Sounds like the Hulk from Secrets Can Kill. And they're both thieves! But they wouldn't date because Hulk is straight in a Whoa! I just saw a girl! way. So, maybe Laurie Gerard, she would date him for the attention, and he would enjoy dating a minor celebrity. I doubt Laurie knows Italian, though. If I limit myself to characters from this game, I would pick Nico with Helena for the same reason I want Fongo with Helena. Helena's just a way better option than Margarita. Nancy Drew. Ugh, Nancy doesn't seem to get along with anyone in this game. Well, besides Ned and Detective Sophia... And that's mostly because they both know her secret identity. She gets along okay with Colin, she's nice enough to him, but she doesn't seem to genuinely like him. Which makes sense, he's borderline obsessive about her, and he's overly obsessive about Tesserae. The last sentence of the game is Nancy saying, At first I felt bad for him, but then I remembered all those slides. It's like she's saying, Colin's slideshow was pure torture, so I can never feel sympathy for that monster. I'm going with Nancy and Ned. That's the safe choice for her. We have several phone contacts in this game. Samantha Quick with Ned Nickerson. Samantha mentions Ned in a vaguely threatening way just to let Nancy know she knows details about Nancy's life. I'd love to see something where Samantha Quick meets Ned. Will he fall for the femme fatale? Prudence Rutherford, I hate to say it, but she's probably the closest to Margarita in this game. I don't think she knows who the other characters are, but she's very familiar with Margarita's skinflint ways. Margarita isn't her type, though. From what little we've heard about Prudence's husbands, they tend to be rich, and she yells at them like they're naughty dogs. Enrico Taza strikes me as the one who might have dated her at some point, although you could argue Fongo's more likely. Detective Sophia with Nico Petit. He's the only member of the gang we know for sure that Sophia has talked to. She tries to solve the mystery of what crimes he's committed, and after a long cat and mouse game, he solves the mystery of her broken heart. Gina with Fongo. Again, because he's the only character she ever talks to. Not that the fake chess games they play are particularly detailed conversations. Let me repeat my choices. Helena Berg with Andy Jason. Colin Baxter with Nancy Drew. Margarita Foberg with Antonio Fongo. Enrico Taza with Minette. Antonio Fongo with Helena. Nico Petit with Helena. Nancy Drew with Ned. Samantha Quick with Ned. Prudence Rutherford with Enrico Taza. Detective Sophia Leparace with Nico Petit. Gina with Fongo. Let's see what the internet has to say. Helena with Enrico, and Nico with Nico getting more votes. Colin Baxter with Helena, and Nancy Drew. Nancy got more votes, and two people wanted Colin with Samantha Quick. Margarita Foberg with Fongo, and none. Enrico Taza with Helena, and Nico with Nico getting more votes. Antonio Fongo with Margarita, then a tie for Nico and none. Nico Petit with Helena, and none, Helena got more votes. Nancy Drew with Colin, and none, Colin got more votes. I think the common thread here is that the internet wants members of the gang to only date other members of the gang. Apparently Nico's the most desirable boyfriend of the group, as everyone gets paired with him. I kind of am intrigued by the idea with Colin and Samantha. Because it, it gets mentioned offhand in Ransom of the Seven Ships. Cuckoo. Mentions, oh, Samantha? It's Justin. And that could be Colin dealing with Samantha quick. 
But why would he do that? 